So let's start to look how we can end up text here on our gauge chart in React Chart.js 2. So let's start to look how to add the text in there. So what we want to do here is first of all, because we want to add up text, we need to create a custom plugin. So in here, we're going to enter, I'm going to say plugins, and we say equal, curly braces, and then we have here the bracket because we have an array. And we will give this name as the text for gauge text. Let's copy that, and then we're going to create our plugin. So we say constant gauge text, and then we need to do here equals, uh, this is the ID. It's a string variable and we just can put in the same name to be consistent, although we won't be using this at all. And then we want to put in the text when we want to draw it. We're going to say here before we draw the data sets. So before data sets draw, then we have the chart arguments and the uh, chart arcs and plugin options, although we won't be using the last two. And then we're going to put in here a object destructurings. If you don't know object destructing, please watch my other videos. Um, we're going to say equals chart because that's a chart object. And we here need the CTX and chart area. Probably not, but we just put it in there just in case. Top, bottom, left, right, width, and height. So what I want to do is I want to put in the text at the very center here, or at least just here. So how do we do that? Well, let's start to work on it. CTX.save to save all, uh, to have our default setting ready. And then we're going to put in here, we're going to say here, first of all, what would be the color? I'm going to say CTX.fill style. And the color of our text will be gray with the A for alpha. So we have a British gray, I guess. Then we have here the uh, font. So we're going to say here the font type and size. So we'll make this bold. We'll make this 30 pixels. And then we can say here sans serif as font family. So you can use any font family you want. Or if you don't want bold, you can remove this. Or italic, you could use all these options there. Next, once we have this, we want to draw the text. So I say here ctx that fill text. And the text here, here is basically the text variable. This will be the X position and the Y position. So let's put in the text here. And let's say here, this will be a test for, for, I guess, test. That's fine. Later on, I'll just extract the value here. That would be nice. So then we have here the X and Y value. So we need to figure out the center of, or at least this position here. Well, luckily we can do this quite simple by simply doing the following. Let me just comment this out and just start to use the chart object that we have here. And we're going to use a built-in function from chart.js, which is get data set meta index number zero. And then what we want to get is the information. So we say your dot data index zero, because we want to have the uh, data set of zero, but also the data of this one here related to this although it will not matter much in a pie chart or a donut chart because the circle starts from the center here and all i need to know is the center position of the x and y coordinates so if i do this dot x we will get a specific information let's say here x core that will be that there's a constant y core or maybe not even core but center because it's not a coordinate, it's just the center coordinate. Let's grab this. There we are. Y. And I'm going to say here now this and of course the Y center being shown here. And the text is right now just test. If I save this, refresh, there we are. All right, as you can see here, we're not yet in the center. So we have to fine tune this a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is, well, let's look at it. What do we need to do here is, first of all, we're going to move the text in the center because right now the text alignment is on the left side. CTX that text align equals center, save, refresh, there we are. We can push it a little bit up 
And for that we could use the other CTX text baseline, although it will not go fully up if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So if I say bottom, save, there you are, you can see here we are slightly higher. We could say here maybe text baseline to get it a bit more there. Oh, wow, that's it. That's not really what I want. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to move it slightly up in a different way. Let's comment this out. There we are. You can see here it goes back to its original position. But we do know one thing. We know that this is 30 pixels. So probably we need to push because the text is here center. So we have to push it probably slightly up. How many pixels? Let's say here minus 15 pixels to test. Save. Refresh. All right. That is not what I want because that's probably text center. Let's do it 10 pixels and then we should have a quite, quite decent position. And that's basically how you add up the text. But of course, what we want to do is we want to grab the value of this here, this number three, put it in here. So how do we do this? Well, we need to have a reference to this. For that, I need to have here the data, the data object in here. And what I'm going to do here is basically looking where we are. If we have this, we're going in here, data, data sets, index number. All right. So we're going to say data dot data sets, index number zero dot data index zero. Save this refresh and now we have this nice value here we could do one more thing here dollar sign uh, what I want to do is here a back a template literal so dollar sign this I'm going to say here the value equals or maybe just remove the equal it is remove that like that save refresh beautiful and that's it